And next up in the field training line of missions, we have APC ABCs. It's clever. You see what they did there? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, no, you did it. The mission focuses on the supply, load, and drop commands. My superiors in Orange Star are pleased with your work, Saigon. I'm also happy to say that the... Motorcycle! I'm also happy to say that the enemy troops aren't deployed ahead of us. Look at this! An artillery unit has been assigned to your command. Used correctly, this unit will strengthen your battalion, no doubt about it. But it sounds like it's seen a lot of action on the front lines, and... Well, I guess we'll get a look at it when we reach the battlefield. Oh, and I received one more bit of information. You've also been given an APC unit to use. This one is fresh from the factory, so don't worry about its condition. Okay, let's get moving. Military grade just means <laughs> lowest, lowest bitter. <laughs> let's, let's, let's remember that, Nell. <laughs> Well, it's good to see that we have an artillery unit, but it's out of ammo. And it's almost out of fuel, too. It can't fire without ammo, and it can't move without fuel. In this condition, it's useless. But don't worry, I think we'll manage just fine. We just need to supply the unit using a transport unit. When you supply a unit, you'll fill its ammo and fuel to the maximum level. For intel on a specific unit, select the unit and press the R button. Okay, will you select this unit and move it here, please? If I wasn't so lazy at content creation, I would probably have a counter for how many times I've said unit. Also, this is not actually what I would do. Um, typically, I would throw the one of the mech units into the APC before moving it. The supply command appears in the menu, right? Select that command, please. Supply. Great! Now we've given the unit both ammo and fuel. This is how transport units supply allied units in adjacent spaces. This time we gave supplies to only one unit, but transport units can also provide supplies simultaneously to any usant, usant? any unit adjacent to it. Oh yes, you can also supply units by placing them in allied bases. And as I explained before, in addition to supplies, bases also provide HP. So use bases when you can, but when you can't, use transport units. Now that the artillery unit is ready to go, let's use it and fire. Would you select it? Please. I love artillery and rockets. All of the long-range long powerhouses in this game are just incredible. Thank you. Now press the A button again to display the command menu. Select fire, please. Bam! Drizzleizer! Drizzleizer? How are you doing? Hello and welcome. This is why we have artillery units. Indirect fire! Indirect fire is the term used for a long distance attack on the enemy. This technique allows units to fire without fear of counterfire. Now that that's clear, go ahead and deploy the rest of your troops. Hmm, it's only a matter of time before the enemy infantry attacks these allied bases. Let's see what we can do to protect them. I think a single tank unit might barely suffice. Please move the unit here. Or, you know what we could have done, Nell, is we could have put one of our mechanized units into the APC before we fueled up the artillery, and then on the next turn, we could have dropped him off, and the tank wouldn't be by himself over here. <sighs> Who's in charge of this outfit? On second, <laughs> on second thought, protecting these bases with a single tank unit might be a little tough. The enemy unit... Oh, the enemy also has tank units nearby, and I think it'd be wise to move a mech unit up as close as possible. You don't say! Please move this mech unit to this point. <laughs> the remaining units are yours to deploy as you see fit. Would you like some strategic advice? No, go away! <laughs> I almost forgot. Wouldn't you like to know how far your units can fire? I'm good. I hope B. Do you remember how we checked an enemy unit's attack range? You, you hold B. Check your own troops' attack range the same way, by holding B. Place the cursor on the unit, and then press and hold down the B button. Thank you, Nell. Go away. Go away. The area displayed in red indicates the unit's attack range. 
Okay, when you finish deploying all of your units, select End. Is there no way to skip tutorial if you already know the game? Yes, you totally can. It gives you the option at the beginning, and the reason I decided to do it anyways is for those who haven't seen the game in its entirety. Uh, and it'll also give them an understanding of why I make str uh, strategic choices later in the game. Um, it it'll give them some advanced knowledge. Ha 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 ha! Thanks, th thanks, Gumper. Um, I think we can stand descent to to the. South. That artillery being there sucks, though. Yeah. Go through there. And, you know, there, there is some story here between Nell and Olaf. Ah, curse you, Nell! Looks like you're bound and determined to get in my way. I'll have my troops swat you like a fly! Except for when they don't. Ah, oh, Jesus, she's talking again. It's your turn. This doesn't look good. Enemy units are closing in, and our mech unit won't arrive in time to help. But don't panic. There's a way for us to help that mech unit move a bit faster and farther. Please select this mech unit! Mm -hmm. Okay, now move the unit here, please. Mm -hmm. Slowing me down, Mel. Nell? Not Mel. Mel speeds things up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mel, your names are just very similar. <laughs> the load command is in the menu, right? Please select that command. You've now loaded the mech unit into the transport. Transport units can carry both mech and infantry units. This effectively increases the movement range for these units. You can't go wrong using transport units to carry troops. Let's move this unit. Would you select it, please? God, I would love to. Zoop. Do you see the drop command in the menu? Please select this command. After selecting drop, you'll need to choose where you want to unload. This time, please unload here. I thought for a second, I thought for sure she would choose the city to the west. Because that would be the bad decision, <laughs> and that's what the game is trying to get me to do right now. I know it's all for the sake of tutorial, but come on. That finishes the drop command. Unloading ends the turn for both the transport and the unloaded unit. This is a much faster way to reach distant objectives, right? So transport units can supply all units as well as carry infantry and mech units. But there is one thing you need to remember. Transport units carry no weapons, which means they cannot fire. For more intel on transport units, place the cursor on one and press the R button. From this point on, the army is yours to command. Would you like any strategic advice? No. Fine. It's your choice. But let me offer one piece of advice anyway. She just can't stop herself. Artillery units cannot move and attack in the same turn. Keep that in mind, okay? You can win by seizing the enemy HQ or by destroying all of the enemy units. Good luck. <clears throat> Which I suspect we'll be doing by getting enemy HQ... Unless he decides to move this artillery somewhere else. I know. I know. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. I love the music in this game. It's not like amazing chiptunes, but it's very fitting. That's fitting for a pocket war game. <laughs> yeah, whatever, you can have that one. You have artillery aimed directly at it, I'm not gonna take it. Alright, 
what these guys really need to do is just hold the fort. artillery here is going to be the great equalizer for any more tanks that want to come this direction. And he has no mechanized units, or no mech infantry to worry about, so pretty much as good as done. Once the bridge is clear, I'll just run the APC down to his base, capture that, I just won't worry about the artillery. Stop worrying about capturing the base for now. Destroying you is far more important, Olaf. <laughs> and this is why we love artillery. Now Reggie is giggling about unit. I've, I've, I've said unit like 70 times today, so it, it's kind of worn off, but I understand. <laughs> Oh, is he just going to hang out there on that city? I thought for sure he might try and go on the offensive. Nope. He's just going to sit there. That's fine. I want to say capturing cities goes towards your power score, but I truly cannot recall. Did you get a feel for deploying artillery units? You're doing well. Now get going and keep up the good work. Grrr. Next time, blast it. Next time! I knew you'd win, Saigon. Wow, still an A rank. Like all the videos on Saigon Cat's channel are made possible by fans like you.